Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to my Technocube channel. You are under the series of mobile computing. So in the earlier session we had seen uh, some uh, traditional TCP uh, protocols. Uh, you see we had uh, we, we had improvised some problems there, right? And that's why there is a constant need uh, to some improvement in that tr traditional TCP. So in this session we're going to understand some classical TCP improvement. Uh, that is there to improve that uh, traditional TCP. Uh, so one of the improvement is done with the help of this protocol, indirect TCP, also known as ITCP. So let's understand this protocol in a very precise manner. So what happens in this in, in this protocol is uh, there is something called as access point which sits in between two entities. So let's say this is the access point. This is the access point. You see this access point also known as foreign agent sometimes. So I'm also going to write here this is a foreign agent. I hope my screen is visible and you can see these spellings and all. Right. So this is the access point also known as uh, a foreign agent. Now what will happen there are other two entities and I'm going to draw it down. So this is something called as a mobile host. Uh, this is my mobile host also known as MH. Uh, so I'm going to write it in short. So this is going to be MH and this is going to be FA. So I'm going to draw the mobile here. Uh, I do not know whether it is right or wrong, but uh, this is FA. Uh, there is one more entity, so I'm going to draw it here. This is something known as correspondent host. So this is like a receiver or maybe sender. I do not know about it, but uh, this could be anything. So this is my correspondent host. Uh, I can write this as CH and this also having, let's say this is a mobile or maybe uh, there is a laptop for this, right? Uh, there might be a possibility that he is using laptop. Now what will happen is, uh, so uh, I'm going to take another pen here. So you see, I need to take another pen for a very specific reason. Uh, so let's say this is the yellow would be better for me. Now you see, what will happen? Uh, this ITCP segments the traffic here. How it segments? You see, your mobile host is connected to this foreign agent with wireless connection. So this is going to be a wireless connection, all right? However, the connection between access point and to the corresponding host is a wired connection. So this is going to be uh, like this. So this is like a wired connection. I hope uh, this looks good. So this is going to be a wireless connection. This is a wireless part. However, this is a wired network or a wired connection. So you understand that this corresponding host could be a fixed host, okay, which is not moving at all. So I can say that this is a fixed connection here. All right. As it is a wired connection, so that definitely he's a fixed. So there is a no need of mobile here, right? And this mobile host here, you see this mobile host is not fixed at all. He is a portable host. I mean, he can move from one end to another end, right? Now, this is the segmentation that has been done over here. And I think this is, you pretty, you can easily understand it, right? Now, what is the work of it? Now, you see this corresponding host could be a sender, could be a receiver. Mobile host could be a sender or could be a receiver. But precisely right now, this sender, I will say this is a, this corresponding host is my sender for this situation. Okay. And this mobile host is, is going to be my receiver. Keep that in mind, right? Okay. Now, what will happen? You see that this foreign agent or this access point will relay, okay, it will relay the data on both sides. So that means if a data or a data packet coming from corresponding host to uh, the uh, to the access point, then he can forward that packet to the mobile host. By the way, you see this corresponding host or the mobile host doesn't know anything about this access point. Remember this, that your corresponding host and your mobile host doesn't know anything about the access point. He doesn't know about it. This never exists. Right now, the situation is something like your mobile host is connected directly to the corresponding host. Both entities will will say that, okay, I'm connected to the corresponding host and corresponding host will say that I'm connected directly to the mobile host and there is no access point. However, there is an access point and the work of this access point is to relay the data on both sides, right? So if a packet, if a packet coming from this corresponding host, if this is the packet coming, so this is the packet, all right? So I'm going to put here number one, 
the packet is coming now this packet is intended i'm also going to write here that it is intended to mobile host and not to the access point all right so it is intended to reach image so when it sends it will catch by the foreign agent and what agent gonna do access point will directly acknowledge this packet you see this is my second point and this is an acknowledgement of the of this packet acknowledgement of the packet you see <clears throat> it is still not reached to the mobile host it is there with the access point only uh, i i mean it is directly acknowledging it and you will see there is a problem so there is a chain of packet now right so if these are all packets which are intended for uh, mobile host by going to be taken by this access point now it is the responsibility of this access point to forward it will try to forward all these queue of packets to the mobile host so this is going to be third point it's forwarding to image <clears throat> right these packets it is going to forward here right all these packets now once the mobile host get the packet he will not acknowledge the packet to the corresponding host remember that it will it tries to it tries to you know it tries to acknowledge the corresponding host but the acknowledgement is going to be taken by your access point here right so this is going to be the fourth acknowledgement of a received packet a received packet right this is simple so this acknowledgement will never reach to the corresponding host i hope you are getting it right so these are one two three four and uh, these points are very clear that uh, one is sending and directly acknowledgement has been given by the access point and then it will try to forward those packet to the actual uh, receiver then receiver going to acknowledge that packet but not to the corresponding host remember it is it is acknowledging to the foreign agent and foreign agent will never do the fifth point it will never you know forward this acknowledgement to the correspondent no it is already been acknowledged by the foreign host foreign agent i hope you understand it now right so <clears throat> the cases is the cases are like uh, if a packet uh, lost uh, uh, in a wireless connection uh, maybe at the mobile host so if a packet lost in wireless uh, connection then your foreign agent is going to retransmit it right because he is having buffer and the packet are, is there in the buffer he can retransmit foreign agent is is going to retransmit so i'm going to write here is going to uh, retransmit <coughs> okay uh, and then uh, according to the acknowledgement is being sended uh, when it is when the packet the retransmission is being done to the mobile host right this is the thing that happens in the itcp this is the normal situation here <coughs> uh, so <coughs> so this is the thing that happens in itcp and i hope uh, uh, you understand it um, uh, so uh, you see now it is very simple if somehow the acknowledgement has been has been lost if let's say the acknowledgement is lost uh, by by mobile host uh, then uh, a mobile host is going to retransmit it right it's going to going to retransmit it. Uh, the points i'm going to all these points are going i'm going to be uh, cover up in the description section please read the description for the notes you will get all the points there uh, whatever i had said uh, it is there in the description please check out the description it is a very uh, thoroughly i had described that but this is in general indirect tcp and i hope you understand it uh, <clears throat> so now uh, there is one thing that i want to clear it out uh, you can see there is a problem if you can see the problem then please write in the comment section what is the problem in indirect tcp and i'm uh, eagerly waiting for that comment all right so if you like this video then please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video thank you so much for listening to me and we will see you in the next session thank you so much guys